Hello and welcome everybody. This is your host Learbach and you're just in time for more blind boxes and some blind bags or one this time. I dog can find the store. And something else I didn't think I'd be doing. Trading in card game stuff. <coughs> so yeah, for this uh, this episode we have uh, this time I went to the store and I managed to find some of the Series 2 uh, minifigures from Minecraft. Um, another Simpsons minifigure. And I thought, well, originally I thought I was going to just pick up a random Magic the Gathering pack and just for old time's sake see what was inside, see if I could get like, you know, a Mythic Rare like I used to always get. but. Then I saw that My Little Pony had a card game, and a trade and a bunch of trading cards. So I don't think this is any of the card game stuff. I think these are just random little cards. So it looks like they could be interesting. These I think are actually from the actual card game. So we're gonna open these up later on and see what's in them. But for now, I think we'll go ahead and start with uh, Minecraft. Um, let's see, in this series we have, uh, Duck, or excuse me, Chicken, Steve, with TNT, uh, let me get the back of the other box here and see, uh, Tamed Wolf, uh, you can tell in here because it has a little red collar, uh, Bats, Undead Horse, and a Saddled Pig. On the other side, ooh, ooh, we got the bat, we got the baddies. We got Steve with Iron Armor, an Electrified Creeper, a Zombie, an Ocelot, or Kitty as most people call them, a Zombie Pigment, and a Wither. Ooh, the most frightening thing in Minecraft. I mean, aside from, you know, the. What an insert current bug here that I have no clue about, because I'm just trying to make a bad joke. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. So, we'll get out our trusty knife, cut a little hole through the uh, tape, or just cut the tape off. One thing I want to mention before I open these, when I went to Target, I bought four of these. I bought a lot, yeah. There were probably two or three of them left that weren't already ripped open apart and some little bratty kid stole what was inside the open boxes. I'm assuming it's a kid because I don't think an adult would be that. No, who am I kidding? It might as well have been an adult too. Uh, we're, ta we're talking about Texas here. <laughs> I'm currently living in Texas. Adults are. And there goes all my Texas viewers. <laughs> all that hard work I've worked for a year and a half. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even have to finish the joke there. So let's go ahead and open this up, shall we? And but yeah, there were seriously a lot of a lot of empty boxes. Um, going around here, feeling the plastic so far. And I'm gonna guess it's a hu it's one of the humanoid characters, uh, either a pigman or a zombie. Well, okay, I can kind of like feel through the plastic. I kind of feel like the like what feels like hands, and they're kind of up. I can't tell. I'm gonna say a zombie pig man. See if I'm right. Oh, <laughs> I was wrong. It was just a regular zombie. No, oh. at least at least it's at least it's not a spider. <laughs> but somehow there's not even a spider on here. How do you've gotten a spider? That's how unlucky I am with these things. <coughs> So, next thing I'm going to do, and this is probably going to be the one that takes a while, like like always, I'm going to alternate them, um, I forgot which one I want to open first. We'll start with the Crystal Games, uh, My Little Pony collectible card game. Now, I'm assuming these are different expansions, like, you know how Magic the Gathering has separate expansions, they have, like, you know, the, the, uh, the Zendikar series, the uh, Alamar, Alamar, Alu... It's the first series I got in. Is the series I start, oh actually, I got into the game just as the series was ending. Shards of a, Shards of Alara, something like that. Um, 
So, uh, I have a feeling I'm. Well, that was easier than I thought it would be. <laughs> if you're playing at home, kids, you don't need a knife for these. <laughs> um, chances are, if you're playing at home, you probably went to an actual card shop where they don't have these in actually I think they do now. I think even Magic the Gathering has them in uh, little cardboard sleeves and then booster packs. Just because they're harder to they're harder to pop open because one of the one of the tricks my friends had for uh, back when we played Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, I played a lot of crappy card games. <laughs> and there goes all my Magic, Magic Gathering and Yu-Gi-Oh fans. Well Okay, just Magic the Gathering, because even Yu-Gi-Oh fans know that game broken as all hell. Or at, le at the very least, you have to acknowledge that the game did not follow, or the show did not follow the game rules. Everyone in that show cheated. Kaiba cheated because he had all the money, Yugi cheated because he was the youngest, and therefore he could make up the rules and everyone felt, felt sorry for him. Pegasus cheated because, well, he was James. He was just James from Pokemon with a wig and an eye patch. Let's just admit it. <laughs> um, for those of you wondering uh, what I mean while I'm making that joke, uh, James from Pokemon was also voiced by Pegasus. Or was also voiced by somebody who just voiced Pegasus. So, yeah. One of my friends who was in love with James uh, had a deal with that with a throw through Yu Gi Oh face. You know, I'm not even. <laughs> Real quick before I rip this open, here's what the... Oh wow, the lighting in here just does not do this. Okay. <laughs> it's the same as the, it's the same cover as what you're seeing here, so... Uh, if there's any particular characters I'm wishing for... Because I have no clue what's in, I'm not, I have no clue what's in this. Um, I'm looking on the front here and there's a few Crystal Ponies. Aloysius. Looks like... Spitfire as a baby. Which, oh, that's adorable. Uh, King Sombra, and then in the bottom corner you have Princess Cadence, Derpy, and the Rainbow Dash. I'm gonna hope for Sombra, because <laughs> I know he's not gonna be in here. Because uh, for even the episode he was in, he was in there for like what all of ten seconds. Let's see if I open this up properly. Yeah, anyway, going back, I was going to say one of, my, one of the tricks my friends did was you know, just open the, pop the top up here and then just kind of pull out what cards you want to know. What the heck? Hold on there one second. <laughs> okay, the weird thing about that is I had that video loading for about two minutes right now. My internet connection is terrible and it just now decided to finish loading. <laughs> um, so, what do we have here? Okay, first off, I'm gonna pop up and show the back. So we got oh, that fell. So we got the uh, elements of harmony. So that's kind of cool. So we have all the main character elements, and then what do we have here for our cards? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We get twelve cards. And none of them are foil. I uh, don't know how to tell the rarity. We'll have to figure out how to tell the rarity of them. I guess if they have rarity on it. <laughs> oh, that was a terrible joke. Okay, so first card we have Slick Shade. Um, play on a friend. The friend has a plus one power for each Slick Shade in the play. Oh, that's cool. So it's a resource card. I'm going to assume. This plays out a little, at least a little bit like Magic the Gathering. Um, so you play the, the, that'd be like your, the equi equivalent of equipment card. Um, do we have Distract the Crystal Pony? Uh, I think that's Flutter. Oh, I know that episode is from. It's probably just what episodes these are from since, since these look like they're episodes from the show. Uh, this is from the Rainbow Falls episode, where the Wonder Bolts were complete, were complete D bags. So these Pitfire and Fleet, Fleet Foot, my two favorite little Wonder Bolts. Um, yeah, I'm um, uh, not much into Soren. <laughs> Though there's not really much I know about Soren, because he's only been in five episodes. I guess they like Pi. 
Uh, this is the uh, one where they're looking for the season uh, three opener. The one where they're looking for the Crystal Heart. Fluttershy and Rainbow Dash have to distract it by uh, throwing a joust. That was the ability. When the player confronts the problem, this problem with characters that have at least three different colors among them, that player may reveal the top two cards of their deck. Put a revealed friend in their hand and put the rest of the cards in the bottom of their deck. Huh. Now I'm not even sure why I'm going to bother you. It's going to take too long. So just go and show uh, Apple Blue from the episode Show Stopper. Um, then this one looks like it actually shows the name of the episode on the bottom here. That might be just like, that might just be like a subtitle, like this is for a showstopper outfit. Which, <laughs> oh my god, that's, those episodes, oh, those, those outfits, so. Uh... Oh wow, we got a, we got a griffin. Wow, I'm, I could, that's actually pretty cool, we got a griffin, that's from the uh, Question Games. Yeah, I think it is, so this is just Giselle the Griffin, which means a thrill seeker. Um, can't really read that that well, unfortunately. Um, got Entertain the Crystal Pony, which is from the same episode that uh, the Fluttershy one of for the to distract the Crystal Pony. Um, actually, it's pretty much parallel. Um, oh. Tetzel Worm, also known as the Sandworm from Dune, only pinker. That's from uh, Keep Old for Keep, uh, Make New Friends, but Keep the Discord. Uh, when Discord faked being sick. Um, now we're getting in some an actual Crystal Pony here, the li uh, Lilac Luster. Um, not really sure where she came from. But I'm guessing she might be from the Crystal Ep Crystal Empire episode as well. Uh, season 3 opener, I believe I said. Uh, you don't see the. Uh, I haven't seen much of the Crystal Ponies outside of that. And I know there was a few episodes they were in, but they're kind of like more like. Just. I don't know, kind of. I don't even know if they were even noticeable. Uh, so we got. Derpy, also known as Muffins, also known as Equestrian Male Mare, because of reasons they couldn't use her real name because people had a backlash when they actually did use her real name in the fir for the very first time and nobody got the joke except for the fans. Yeah, go figure, right? The fan named character gets no one gets the joke. We have a Scootaloo Scooter, which is an, an accessory, so... Much like the, um, I'm noticing one thing right now, much like the um, Unhinged the Magic series, the uh, character portraits do go over the borders. Immediately I'm seeing a bit of a problem because this is supposed to be a resource uh, slash accessory. Um, it's kind of hard to see. It actually shows up a little better on, on the camera than it does in real life because the, the, the dark blue of Scooter Scooter just really kind of absorbs the accessory, the first half of the accessory, so... Yeah. We have Ice Cloud Calamity. Um, not really. Oh, they're holding up the Ice Cloud from the uh, Question Games episode. Oh, well, you cannot really tell. I am trying to get this in the best lighting possible. You see Fluttershy in the, in the front, and you see, uh, you see the Wonder Bolts, and. See the Wonder Bolts and Rainbow Dash in the back. And some green pony. So you got Creeping cre uh, Creepy Creeping Crystal. So that's the Sombra's Black Crystal, so that's probably the closest I'm going to get to getting a Sombra card. And we got Friendly Disagreement. Um, can't remember which. I, I think that was the. This was the one where, uh, oh, season four episode, the one where Applejack gets her, like, finds her calling, not not her calling, but finds her, uh, Rainbow, Rainbow Center or whatever it was, <laughs> whatever it was they found, the Rainbow Connection is what everyone called it, and, uh, Granny Smith tried to, uh, try to go sky, uh, not skydiving, high bolt, uh, do the high jump. 
Yeah, that was a bit of a weird episode. So let me see if I can figure out any correlation with the rarities of these. Got some cards upside down. So it looks like there's a symbol in the bottom that shows the set. Um, yeah, it's like, it's like some sort of like crystal snowflake looking thing. Um, the problem is all of them are purple, so that doesn't really show any rarity to them. There seems to be like these little symbols in the top corner that shows like... Yeah, I think that's their alignment. Or it might be something else, I'm not sure. I should probably learn how to play this game if I'm gonna buy the cards. <laughs> oh well. I think you know it's My Little Pony. I've kind of been interested in dabbling into the card games and what the cards are like. And you know, I used to play card games a lot, so yeah. And so, next thing! 16 minutes in, we only got two things there. Why did I decide to get more? Oh well. So we have another Minecraft thing. Um, I got the zombie. Um, before I, I should probably mention what I'm hoping to get out of this, uh, the blind box here. I'm either hoping for uh, TNT Steve, the Bat, or the Ocelot, or the Wither. The Wither would be really nice, but I have a feeling that one's super rare. And you guys were freaked if I, if I said I thought I'd got it, but no. Um, I'm not sure I think I've gotten the Bats. I'm feeling around it trying to feel it. I think I might have gotten the bats this time. <coughs> oh, yep. Sure enough, got little Minecraft bats. Aww. <laughs> these, things are, these things are really cute. Okay. So for those of you wondering, um, the wing is supposed to be bent like that. Which is, yeah, I checked on the box. I wasn't sure if it was supposed to be folded out a little bit more. Um, but they are very soft plastic wings, so. Set that in the corner. And we'll get our other uh, set of pony cards. This one's the Equestrian Odyssey. Um, there we go. It's really. Oh, this really does deter. This really does deter people uh, sneaking in and getting your stuff, uh, stealing them. It actually took some effort to open that one without, without a knife. Um, yeah, it took less time to do it. And then, as always, I'm gonna try to pop this open. The well, what I'd like to call the cheaty, the cheaty way, because this is the way you could. Uh, Steal cards, um, and of course I'm going to cover job. Um, oh wow, man. Let's see here. Oh no, 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 it's the same. It's the same, got a Twilight and her friends, minus rarity and Applejack, we can have the cutie map. With Angel Bunny. Oh, and there's, Tink, there's Tink in the top corner with, with the logo. It's uh, Rainbow Dash's pet. <laughs> she, gets a, she gets a turtle because turtles are cool. And already, <laughs> that was a... <laughs> uh, I've already bent one of the cards, that's not a good thing. <laughs> uh, that was, oh, that was messed up trying to pull those out. <laughs> And that's why I don't do the cheaty way. <laughs> so, what do we get this time? Okay. Uh, the back is the same. Um, otherwise, you won't be able to use them in the same sets. Uh, the whole point of a trait of a collectible card game like this is to have, you know, a set of randomized events and to build upon the original sets. So, newer sets have to use the same card back here. That's why Magic the Gathering looks. Actually, an awful lot like this. <laughs> this looks an awful lot like Magic Gathering to come think of it. <laughs> so, our first one uh, we got Prince Blue Blood, who I believe was in the Gala episode, the end of season one. Um, oh, wow, they actually have a little flavor text at the bottom. I didn't notice that. We'll have to look at those later and read them. We got 
Bad Seed from the episode Bad Seed. I, actually, I think it was Bad Seed. That's what it was called. Applejack and Apple Bloom's uh, Brooklyn cousin. No one. Well, this one, I'm not sure if you can see it, but she actually has her cutie mark on there. I don't think, have we seen an episode where she had her cutie mark? I didn't think you saw that yet. Huh. I know, I know you heard about it. I know that we've heard about it before, but, wow. Splash attack! Magikarp's favorite move. <laughs> uh... And of course, it's Fluttershy doing the splashing. That's when she was discorded. Um, Spitfire. My. Yeah, my favorite Wonderbolt. <laughs> I was going to say second favorite next to Fleetfoot, but then I got to think do I count the comics or not? Because the, Fleet, the Fleetfoot in the comics is just <laughs> hilarious. That she just silently stalks Big Mac in the background, thinking they're going to be able be a loving couple for the rest of their life even though he just saved her just out of circumstance <laughs> uh, we got uh, Junebug and another background pony I got a lot of pony characters Pipsqueak it's my very first nightmare night <laughs> uh, What the freak is this? Oh! Oh, is this from... Okay. Um... Arby Maspi. I think this is the thing from the, uh, the Griffin... The Gryffindel episode. Um... Griffin Rock, whatever. Whatever the Griffin City was, the Griffin Town was, where they went to the... To the... Old shat, old uh, crap sack town of the Griffins. That's the Cyclops, um, where the Griffins stole the treasure from the Cyclops, or the Griffin King. Um, Twilight Sparkle, Kitty Mark Consultant. <laughs> even though she's a princess, even though she's an alicorn princess, and hey, she doesn't actually have wings in this one, and she's labeled as a unicorn. So that will that will get fans uh, happy again. She's no longer an alicorn. The show is saved. Am I the, uh, seriously? Am I like the only one that didn't have a problem with her being an alicorn? I mean, first of all, all our all if you grew up with a Hasbro product, like say <coughs> Transformers, then eventually you knew the leader was gonna get wings. Optimus Prime had wings. Okay, Optimus Prime G1 could fly. That's the important part. Optimus Primal eventually... Okay. He got a... He got, he got a surfboard that he could fly on. Okay? Same thing. Regardless, they all went through massive changes. A couple things around the same time that... I think Transformers Prime... That was when Optimus Prime got his wings, wasn't it? <laughs> huh. I wonder if there's correlations that year. <coughs> We got Sapphire Shores. Uh, this was really a bad idea. <laughs> Look at that. It is really hard to see these cards because of white. <laughs> um, I believe Sapphire Shores in three episodes? Maybe two. And oh, now we finally get something that's not a, po that's not a pony. Blending in from the season five opener. That was a creepy town there, and <laughs> that was a creepy town. Aunt Orange, Applejack and Apple Bloom's aunt, who I'm assuming is Bab Seed's uh, mother. Though, hmm, well, I think about it, given the regal nature of Apple or Aunt, of Aunt Orange and Bab Seed's more kind of. Seem seemingly rough and tumble, rough and tumble beginnings with her, uh, like with her accent and the way she kind of holds herself in the one episode you saw her in. Kind of, I don't know. I don't know. The Apple family is a pretty big, a pretty big family, and I would try to quote all the names if I had any any inkling knowing how to do all that. 
Um, and we got local fashion again from the season five opener. And that should hopefully be the last of the uh, of the cards for a little bit. Um, oh crap, we have this thing left. <laughs> oh, oh crap, I forgot about that. Okay, so anyway, let's go to the next one. This is going to be a really long episode, and all because of trading cards. We got another Minecraft series. Uh, we got the bats, so I guess Steve and uh, Wither are the only two things I really... Well, the Ocelots, we still got three things we can get. So what do we have here? Um, feeling around. I think it's another zombie. Yep. I just do not have good luck with these <laughs> with these Minecraft things. Keep getting doubles. This is why I got multiple of them. So that was one more zombie, so we'll go ahead and Hmm. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do the My Little Pony big box thing here. Uh, kind of pop this, just rip it open. <laughs> I stopped caring at that point. Uh, what do we have here? We got three trading cards. Yep, we got trading cards. Hopefully they'll be a little faster to go through. And we got... So I guess we got four packs? Oh, no, this is it's three packs and then we get nine foil cards. These are all foils. <laughs> They're going to be really hard to see. So we got the Masked Matterhorn. So this is from the Power Ponies episode. Um, look. Look, oh, they're all from the, from the Power Ponies episode. So we got Mistress Marvelous. This is from the episode where they're... Uh, Radiance, where they were sucked into the comic book world and turned into comic book characters. Fill a second instead of millisecond. Saddle Rager. Zap. Probably the coolest one. And yeah, probably because I'm saying it's Rainbow Dash. Humdrum. <sighs> Nobody likes Humdrum. <laughs> Poor Spike. The main yak. And. Ooh, we got the actual Power Ponies comic. That's kind of cool. Okay, so I like the little foil cards, and they show up a lot better than I thought they would. Holy crap. You don't see the shit. You don't see the shimmer from them. That's something you're going to see with doll cameras. They won't do the reflection really well, but. Wow, and I gotta say though, the shimmer looks really good. Even though these, even though these are like really darker colored cards, um, probably because of it, but they still come out really well. And especially with the uh, comic book aesthetic, they come out really well. So I'm gonna have a feeling these have significantly less uh, density than the uh, than the uh, pony cards, the cra trading card. Um, Oh wow, and these have little. Oh, these have little other things with them. Okay. So we got uh, Simple Ways, which is an episode. The episode where uh, Rarity tries to impress the uh, hipster pony, whatever his name was. Got Fluttershy! Yay! My favorite pony. Friendship is Magic, Part 1. So we get, like, it looks like we got. Yeah, we got episodes here. Trade ya. Um. And then in the back, they give you like a little bio of what the episode is, um, synopsis, quotes. <laughs> I like the quotes for the trade one. These books make twice the princess she is. Before that, she was nothing. A big fat zero. That would be one of the big things to pull out would be a Pinkie, Pinkie Pie quote. The Cutie Mark Crusaders! And hey, they actually have their Cutie Marks in now. Not in the car, they have them in the actual episodes. For those of you who haven't seen season five yet, <laughs> um, and what is? Oh, okay, so this is a standee um, of cream of a 
I was about to say cream cheese. Cheese sandwich, uh, Weird Al's character from season four. Um, okay, so that's... Okay, that was pretty easy. You just like fold the card and then there's like little slots to put them in. And then I guess you can choose, because there's like, there's, his name's on there twice, so I guess you can choose which one's the outside, which one's the inside. Um, so you have that, and I guess you can fold this little spot here to kind of straighten them up a little bit. That's kind of cool. Um, you know, fold them back into his card, so I don't ruin it. You know, from between two cards. Um, and then you got like a little, looks like a little, uh, Temporary tattoo, uh, Twilight, and uh, what is she wearing? I'm gonna say in her pajamas, but that's not really pajamas. That kind of looks like she's in like a Chinese dress, which is kind of cute, I guess. And we finally got oh, we got a song card, smile. Okay, so we got. I really made a mistake with this. I'm committed though, at this point I am committed. <laughs> Still got two more things to go through after all, after all this. And looks like I got some other, something else. Whoa! Got a poster! Holy crap! Okay, I'll show, I'll show the poster after the cards. <laughs> oh. Okay, so real quick, uh, ooh, Swarm of the Century, the classic episode, the Cutie Pox, an okay episode. I kind of remember having a little, few little feeling pinky keen. Which episode was this? Oh, this is the Pinky Sense episode. The that little toilet exploded twice. Lord Tyrick. We at least got one bad guy. <laughs> Nightmare Moon. I spoke too soon. This is a shiny one. We got Radiance. <laughs> Which is just Rarity's cosplay. Oh, and we got Derpy as our sticker. Or tattoo. And she's got eyes and her cute... Wait. Oh, that's not nearly... Wow. Got like a bunch of different stuff with Derpy. You can... Got like a bunch of little things with Derpy. You didn't get that much, much with uh, Twilight. It's a little sad. Okay. Had I known this was gonna have three of them in the, in this one pack, I would have just gotten the one pack. <laughs> uh, it saved me some time. Again, sorry for the length of the episode. I may end up having to crop this into two parts. <laughs> I may not. I don't know. Depends on how I feel. Yeah. So what do we have here? Spike at your service. And uh, not, not a good episode. Discord! Also known as Q from that one Star Trek thing. Rainbow Falls! Okay episode. Burn the Hoof, or, or uh, Fluttershy kidnaps and another person's pet and tries to make it feel better, only to find out she's actually making it worse. Princess Luna and Princess Celestia. And they said we wouldn't get any more villains. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> I like both the princesses. We got Granny Smith off her rocker. Uh. This doesn't. This is not a. This is like a. Sticker? It feels like it's a sticker, but I kind of want And we got cheese sandwich. And this cutie mark in his little, uh. Boneless, that's what it was called, boneless. The uh, little chicken. We got art of the dress. That's kind of neat. I kind of like the little trading cards. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be getting them a second time, though. <laughs> um. The collectible cards, maybe. Um, got a lot of cards now. 
So we have two more things to go through. We got another Minecraft thing, so let's go ahead and speed through that. There we go. Yeah. Oh, one thing I forgot to show was the poster. Wow. We're going through. This guy thrown into the cars and burned out on that. Let's see what the poster is here. That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> okay. Okay, all that kind of. That kind of justified the purchase right there if you like the posters. Um. There you go. Just trying not to break the poster. So, so what do we have here? Um. This is about to be zombies. I cannot tell what this one is. I'm trying to. Got the zombie horse. Eh, it's not too bad. <laughs> um, so, out of the Minecraft stuff. Uh, sorry if I'm making so much noise here trying to pick up all these wrappers. The cards are not a thing I can do on this show anymore. <laughs> Unless I do like two packs and that's the entire episode. <laughs> oh, trying to make these go faster and actually end up making them go longer. Um, out of that whole thing, uh, out of the whole Minecraft thing, I think I got nothing I wanted. <laughs> I got the bats, I got the bats. Um, I got the horse, but I, ended up, I did end up getting two zombies again, so two duplicates. Um, they'll go nice with my spiders. <laughs> My spiders! The diamonds are real spiders! And there's a data joke for you right there. Um, we do have one more thing to look at. What Simpsons minifigure will we get this time? Uh, let's hope it's not Mr. Smithers or Homer, because we already have those from last time. Um, before we even look at it, let's go ahead and look back at the, uh, the chart again. Oh, this is a completely different set! <laughs> yeah, this is a completely different set now. We got new guys to look at. We got all the family in their base couch. We got Homer with the remote and donut, which is kind of cool. Bart with a skateboard. Marge with the donut fancy magazine, I'm guessing. And a purse. Lisa with her, with her, uh, Jazz trumpet, can't remember what it's called now. And Maggie with a with a uh, torn up teddy bear. And uh, Grandpa Simpson with uh, <laughs> old man yells at cloud newspaper. And you got Flanders, uh, Krusty, Millhouse. Uh, what's his name? This special kid. I can't remember his name. Uh, Apu. Uh, Ralph, no, Ralph, that's his name, and now I can't remember, uh, can't remember the, the bully kid's name, Itchy and Scratchy, Chief Wiggum, and Mr. Burns, with a, oh wow, three, three eyed fish from the movie, okay, so, who do I wish to get? I don't know. I guess any one of them could be could be good. <laughs> Do we? Oh, from the looks of it, yep. We got a floor plate. A pair of legs, which for some reason appear green on here instead of blue. It's a little weird. A business suit, which again appears green. A stick of uranium, which is supposed to look green. So I think you probably guessed who we got by this point. A three-eyed fish, which you can sort of see on the camera. And the head of one Montgomery Burn. I heard the actor quit. I heard the actor that played Burns, as well as the vast majority of the background characters, quit recently, and then is coming back. So yeah. 
Smithers, who is that? Who is that grotesque man? Well, that's Mr. Homer, sir. He's been with the company for four years, for five years, ten years. How long has he been with the company for again? <laughs> so I do have, I do have actually a Smithers, so that goes really well. And I actually have a Homer, so that's cool too. Um, yeah. All in all, this blind box, aside from being incredibly long, holy crap, 40 minutes after long, ugh. I really do, I really do enjoy. Um, I think I am gonna have to avoid cards from now on. Um, that was a, that was a experiment that went south very fast. <laughs> on the plus side, I do have a crap load of cards. I have enough cards I could feasibly make a deck out of, but unfortunately, most of the contents of these cards I cannot because they are not a deck building card. They are simply little collectible cards. Though I will say the only way I, I could have gotten a foil was through that collectible through these little collectibles, because these are the only foils I got. Oh, and Nightmare Moon. So. <laughs> Pull up only half my foils there. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> so yeah, um, I actually got some pretty cool cards though. I just I do not regret that. I do not regret, I do not regret the purchase. Um, I even like, you know, I even like the, uh, I even like the little collectible cards here. Um, little trading cards, little, uh, card game cards. Because, yeah, the first, the first pack was kind of okay, because I, I mean, I didn't get a whole lot of characters. But the second pack, I got a lot of characters, almost entirely made up of characters, so that's kind of, that kind of made it worth it. Um, of course I did, I did bend one card. Sort of, um. Looking at this, yeah, I think this is the one, this is the one I bent. Uh, you can sort of you can sort of tell. <laughs> you can see where it's kind of bent towards the middle. It kind of bends in a different direction it should. But yeah, so Minecraft is really starting to disappoint me though because twice in a row I get doubles. In, on two different sets. I was really hoping not, but, but at least it were the, it were the minions, the little mobs, so I mean that's justified, you know, I, you know all the zombies, all the, all the spiders, so that makes sense. Um, that's part of the reason I bought four, because I figured, you know, hey, if I get any duplicates, at least I'm only get, at least I'm only guaranteed to get one. Um, but yeah, so, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video off before it gets any further. <laughs> Because we're going on for almost 44 minutes now, so I will go ahead and end it off. Until next time, I will see you guys later.